Have you ever been pulled over by police and wish you had a lawyer in your back seat? You'd want that, especially in Mexico where federales literally drive around with machine guns here in Acapulco, Mexico. I am joined by O'Brien Martin, who's working on a project that will literally put your lawyer right in your car seat right next to you. Now, O'Brien's working on an Indiegogo campaign that is going to combine Uber with lawyers and cop blocking at the same time. O'Brien, can you tell us more about your project? Sure. Uh, it's the Sidekick app, uh, S-I-D-E-K-I-K -K, uh, app.com. And basically, it's an app which, combi which combines uh, several different features. So we're looking at uh, audio video streaming at the touch of a button. And also, if the app user wants it, then it'll initiate a video call so that within a few seconds, they'll be seeing and speaking to an attorney who will represent them. So let's say somebody gets pulled over. Uh, they just activate the app. Within a few seconds, they have an attorney there. And then they can just hold up the phone and let their attorney do the talking. So, so if you get pulled over by the police, there's O'Brien's working on technology where you could automatically just hand your phone and your lawyer right to the police and you could de-escalate the situations and make sure everything is done legally with live streaming capabilities to make sure that everything is recorded and put on the record. That sounds amazing and fascinating. I mean, this looks like a very like big, huge project. This seems even on the technical aspect of live streaming, archiving videos, connecting a lawyer, uh, sort of combining uh, Tinder. It's like Tinder too, looking at the local locations where you are. Can you tell us just how do you plan on even going after this huge kind of infrastructure that you guys are building? Right, right. And it is a very technical app. If I were to pick two apps that have these features, it would be something like Ustream or Bamboozer for the audio video streaming and then also the, um, the abilities of, say, Skype. So if you were to merge those two apps into one app, then you would overall have Sidekick, right? Except that Sidekick will be streaming that data to multiple secure servers, including uh, the decentralized storage uh, when MadeSafe comes out. Um, and as far as how to tackle it, um, honestly, frankly, uh, we had several software companies tell us that it couldn't even be done. But I just went around and just basically did interviews with different companies, and finally I found one where uh, our mindsets met and uh, we just worked and figured out a way to actually combine those two technologies into one piece of software that works on Android, iOS phones. Yeah. Uh, you can see here, you don't worry. You yeah, yeah. So it's, like, so it's like combining Tinder, but with your lawyer, and Ustream and Bamboozer at the same time, which I find fascinating. Right, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty complex set of features and it is a complex app. Um, but it is, it can be done. You know, it's really just a matter of uh, having the capital and pushing forward and working with the right team. So I found the right team. It's uh, Zico, which is one of the oldest and uh, most trusted uh, software companies in the world. They're out of New Hampshire, actually. Uh, so we're working together and uh, there's, they've done a fantastic job so far. So the whole first phase of the app is already completed. We had a, an Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign last year and we raised enough capital to complete the whole first phase. So that's uh, all the wireframing, fluid UI, technical feasibility studies, uh, uh, the app graphics, and uh, anybody who wants to see some of the graphics, they can just go to sidekickapp.com, and I have a video there, and then below the video, I have some of the app screen graphics. They can read about the features of the app, and uh, within a few days, I'll have an FAQ up because I get so many questions about this and that, how's that gonna work, how's this gonna work, and it just takes a lot of uh, time to answer it. it probably couldn't be done in this one video. So anybody who's interested in getting those questions answered can go to psychicapp.com. I'll have an FAQ up. And uh, anybody who has any questions that I don't answer there, feel free to contact me and uh, I'll do my best. I have a crap ton of questions that I want to get through, but really quickly, just tell us, when are you launching the Indiegogo and what are some of the perks and what is the amount that you want to raise? Right. Uh, so the amount that we're going for for the campaign is just enough to complete the second phase of the app, so it's a little over $50,000. As far as how much to complete the entire app, uh, it's a range because uh, there are going to be certain issues that are going to come up during beta testing, and we don't know exactly how many of those are going to be. So um, it's going to be a range anywhere from 140 to 160000 for the entire app. And uh, as far as the Indiegogo campaign, we're launching our next one on March 9th, and uh, the crowdfunding link on sidekickapp.com will go live on that day so anybody who wants to is interested in checking that out can go to the uh, click on the crowdfunding link on sidekickapp.com it'll take them straight to Indiegogo and we're also accepting Bitcoin that's straight through the sidekickapp.com website and because there's no transaction fees with Bitcoin we're offering a 10% discount okay. anybody who uses Bitcoin and as far as the perk levels I just took everything from the Indiegogo page 
put it on the psychicapp.com page and discounted it by 10%. So for example, uh, on the Indiegogo page, anybody who puts in $100 well, it's basically uh, buying a uh, subscription for th uh, uh, three years to Sidekick, and they can have three years for themselves, split it up uh, one f one year for them, and you know two years for two other friends, and then the perk levels just go from there. Obviously, people will need to buy this product to get connected with the lawyer in your local area to protect you in the moment that you do get pulled over. But O'Brien was just telling me how. He had, uh, you know, a little bit of funding. He was gonna. He was thinking about hiring a video editor and making really professional videos to sell this. He said, "No, I'm gonna put this all towards the app, all towards the development." So that's why we're trying to help him get this video out to your friends. I still have more questions though because I'm really curious. All right, um, so you get pulled over, over by the cops. What guarantee do we have that there's gonna be a lawyer present online, especially if if people are paying for this product, paying for this app? What kind of guarantees do you have that a lawyer will answer a video call? and uh, everything will be live streamed. Right, so what I did was I ran the numbers and I figured out the ratio uh, of uh, how many uh, app users one attorney can basically cover if they're, if they're on the uh, Psychic network. And the ratio is one to 400. So it's actually pretty large. And as far as, uh, I'm, I'm only going to allow uh, uh, as many subscribers as I think can reasonably be covered uh, by the attorneys who are on the on the, the number of attorneys who are on the network. So as we grow, say each time that I get another attorney who signs onto the network, I will allow an additional 400 subscribers to get on, and that way I, I can always ensure that there are enough attorneys on uh, on the Psychic Network at any given time to uh, make it so that people are covered, right? Because it's kind of random. I don't know when people are going to get called, so I need to have a conservative estimate on how many attorneys I have on the network. Amazing idea. Is there anything else you want to kind of expand on with this project that you're launching on? Uh, there's a million questions. I know, I know you're all going to answer them online as well, but anything that you think people should know because this is still in development. It's not there yet. It's going to be a paid app. It's going to put a lawyer in your, in, in your car. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, I'd say there's two things. One is that we're going to have a free and a pay version. So the free version will be uh, audio video streaming to secure servers. So people who download it for free and use it for free, they'll have their data streamed to the same servers that, that, the, that the subscribers have their data sent to. And um, as far as the actual uh, subscribers, we're only, we're only talking about a small amount. And this is the most common. If there's one thing I want to cover, it's this one question which I get most often, which is, how can I possibly afford an attorney? But that's, that's not actually how it works. I figured out a business model so that uh, the initial consultation, the initial representation by that attorney is free. So an attorney might take, say, 20 or 30 calls, and uh, most of them could be something really simple, like you know, you, somebody gets pulled over for not having the light on their license plate, right? Well, you know, they don't really need an attorney there. There's no lawsuit material for the attorney. But, however, the, the attorney's presence uh, th uh, via the phone is going to help keep that situation from escalating uh, any, into anything worse, right? However, out of the 20 or 30 calls, that attorney might have, you know, one, two, or three where they have all the audio, video evidence they need of a breach of duty on behalf of the police officer, and then they have grounds for a lawsuit. So, for the attorney, it's more like, you know, ca casting a net. And, uh, you know, they might, they, they'll, they, they'll get, you know, one or two lawsuits out of it. And in that process, they'll help all these other people get legal representation when they need it. And those people will feel more secure because they know that they have uh, a third party there, you know, an intermediary who's representing them and uh, doing their best to protect their rights during that situation. All right, Ryan, amazing stuff that you're working on. A lot of people who don't have the funds who are... Um, disenfranchised, always gets screwed over by the legal system. But right now, with technology, with innovation, your daily traffic stop could equalize you to have the same power as everyone else and quickly get connected to a lawyer that will ease the situation, help you out as quick as you can get a Tinder date. Technology is amazing and beautiful. O'Brien, thank you so much. The link will be in the description below. I love this idea. Let's make it happen. And thank you again so much for watching. Share this video with your friends.